Did you know that almost one in five students has reported being bullied at one time or another? And 41% of those students who reported being bullied at school felt like it might happen again. Bullying is a big deal and a big word that can get jumbled up. So let's take a closer look at what it means and break it down a bit. First things first, what is bullying? The actual definition goes something like this. Bullying is unwanted, aggressive behavior among school-aged children that involves a real or perceived power imbalance. The behavior is repeated or has the potential to be repeated over time. Well, that's kind of confusing, so let's try another way. We're going to call on my friend Boo the Ghost to help us understand bullying in a different way. Don't worry though, he's friendly. We're going to take the letters in Boo's name to come up with an easy way to learn about and remember the definition of bullying. Let's start at the beginning. The B stands for being mean. Now, this isn't your everyday meanness or teasing that might happen at school. Teasing can be annoying or upsetting and sometimes even playful, but bullying is never playful and it always does harm. When you're being teased, you should be able to say stop and the other person listens though you may have to repeat yourself a time or two. With bullying, the meanness keeps going, even though the person knows you don't like it. The O stands for on purpose. We have all made mistakes. Nobody is perfect. What matters is what we do once the mistake has been made. When someone tells you that you have hurt their feelings, what do you do? Do you own it and apologize, or do you ignore it and do it again? Bullying happens when we are mean to someone on purpose, knowing that what we're doing is going to hurt their feelings. The meanness is meant to make you feel small while the other person feels powerful and in control. This is called an imbalance of power and it is a sure sign of bullying. The last O in Boo's name stands for over and over again. If we try to tell someone that what they are doing is hurting our feelings and they still don't stop, that is when we say the meanness is repeating. It happens over and over again, even though you or a trusted adult have asked the person to stop. So bullying is being mean on purpose over and over again. But wait, what does being mean look like with bullying? It gets a little more complicated than just calling someone a name. So let's take a look at that too. Bullying may look different from person to person, but the result is the same. One person is left feeling bad while the other is left feeling in control. Some types of bullying that you might see or experience can be broken down into four different types, physical, verbal, social emotional, and cyber. Physical bullying is typically the kind that most kids think about at first. It's the easiest to define because it's usually pretty easy to see. Physical bullying may include hitting, pushing or shoving, kicking, tripping or stomping. What you may not know is that it can actually include stealing or damaging someone else's things too. Verbal bullying is really common because it's quick and easy to do. Plus, it's hard for grown-ups to see, so it can be hidden too. Verbal bullying may include cruel teasing, when someone keeps going when you have told them to stop, name calling, threatening others, mean jokes, rumors, gossip, and saying things about someone that aren't true. Social and emotional bullying can sometimes be the hardest to spot. Though this type of bullying may not leave bruises, it still hurts a lot and can leave you feeling sad, scared, or alone. Social and emotional bullying may include leaving someone out on purpose, telling lies about someone, and embarrassing someone in front of other people. You can combine verbal and social bullying to get our next type. Cyberbullying is a type of bullying that happens online and it's become really common. This can happen through text messages, apps, or emails. It can happen on a phone, computer, tablet, gaming console, basically any type of electronic device that connects you with other people. Cyberbullying can include posting rumors on social media, sharing embarrassing pictures or videos, and making fake profiles or websites. Knowing what bullying is makes it more likely that you will take steps to stop it. Find out what to do about bullying in our next video. 
And for more information about what to do about bullying or just information about bullying in general, ask an adult to help you visit these websites. Thanks for watching.